guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. It is Friday, so we are getting fan art. And the fan art that I have planned for today is something that I am super, super excited to do. I did the line art actually an extremely long time ago, but I haven't had the time to color it. And I was able to get around to coloring it. It took me forever to color. And I am just so happy I can finally show this picture. Uh, the subject matter is Super Mario RPG, which is a game that is available on the Super Nintendo or the SNES. And you can also get it on the Wii in their virtual shop. I downloaded it there too because I wanted to play it again because I just have such great memories of this game. Uh, the full title is Super Mario RPG and then like The Legend of the Seven Stars or something. And it was just such a good game and it really stands out in my memory and I just have like really fond memories associated with this game. So I definitely wanted to do some fan art and kind of uh, celebrate that, you know, like when there's a game I really like, I just like to do fan art of it and then just I don't know, have it as a memory. So that's what I'm doing today. It's all the playable characters in that game. And you can see Mario is in the middle. He has his hammer, which is an item that you can use, like an equip, like a weapon. And then there's Peach on the lower left, Gino on the lower right. On the upper right is Bowser. On the upper left is Mallow. So you should be able to recognize Mario, Peach, and Bowser, but Mallow and Gino are playable characters that are only in Mario RPG which is a really good game, you should play it. I included the seven stars in the picture and I wanted to kind of, at first I was thinking more of a art nouveau sort of thing with like the circles with the patterns in it, but then I just ended up doing like a really simple design in the middle that looks like glass. And then I put the stars around it and I put like a star in the middle. So I just wanted to kind of have some symmetry to the piece and yeah so I was going to originally do it like Art Nouveau but it's kind of like a simple derby thing that I did. Uh, I really love how it came out. I used a space background because of the stars and I had a lot of fun with that. The materials I used were Copic markers, Sakura Jelly Roll in white, and I used some colored pencils, but not too much. I just figured I'd mention it. I just used them a little bit for some of the effects in the background. And I used colorless blender solution in the background as well. So that's kind of all you need to know about what I used. And gosh, it took forever to actually color this picture, but I'm so happy with how it came out because I really wanted to make sure that it came out very quality and uh, yeah so lots of effort went into there and I also included in the background like a little bit of a reference to the powers that they had in the game where Mallow has a thunderbolt, Bowser has fire, Gino has like stars and uh, well Gino's actually like a puppet. Well I won't really get into it but you gotta play the game. It's really good. And then there's Peach and she has hearts. She's like kind of like the healer. Also Mallow can heal, but whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, what else do I have to say about this? I don't know. I just have really, really fond memories of this game. It was very fun and it was funny. And I love RPGs and I used to play them so much when I was younger. And it was so time consuming, but I just loved it. And I just, this has to be one of my favorite RPGs that I've ever played. I guess because of the humor and the lovable characters. And it's a Nintendo game, so they're always amazing. And it reminds me of Paper Mario. The first two, the one for the Nintendo 64 and the one for the GameCube, I believe. Those were really good RPGs and they reminded me of Mario RPG. Then I think when it went to the U or so, the Wii or something, not the U, the Wii, it got kind of weird and I didn't like it at all. Like I, I just, I think I killed the first boss and I was just like, this is just not fun. So 
I think they've been changing the games and like adding some other things to them and I just didn't like the direction that they took it in. So I guess I just, uh, if you really like the first two Paper Mario games, I definitely suggest that you play this game because it's, it's fun. I really liked it. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this piece. And I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about live streaming, which is something I've been thinking about recently. And I wanted to get your guys' input because I didn't want to live stream on YouTube because not many people do that. And I think there are lots of issues with that. So I figured I'll do it on Twitch. And because I do video game fan art, it would relate to video game Twitch, right? So <laughs> that's kind of like, I don't know, that's kind of where my thought process is. And I think it would be fun because then I could talk to you guys while I do art and you can talk to me and we can have fun and you can talk to each other and it would be like a nice little community thing. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that on Twitch with the open broadcast software and once I figure that out, then I should have a better idea of when I'm going to stream. I don't know just yet if I'm going to have a schedule, if I should do it weekly or not, but we'll see what happens. I need to also kind of like put up the rules and all that, so that's kind of another thing I want to work on. And I want to get some visuals on there first, so that it's all set up for when we actually get started. So. I hope that you guys are excited about that. If you have any advice or something you want to tell me, like, oh, Twitch is really bad, you should do this. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about Twitch, so I'm really kind of like, have my heart set on that. But if there is a better option out there, let me know. And uh, yeah, if you think it's a good idea that I live stream, also, you know, tell me that because it encourages me to get things done faster so that I can get everything up and running sooner. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you really soon next week for another art video. And yeah, bye guys!